Good afternoon, YouTubers. William from I Like the Outdoors. He does some fire starting and um, preaching. You know, and it expounds on Bible verses. And he was talking about how, you know, blessings and thriftiness. And I said, man, that's right up the cheap bastard's alley. So last week I'm doing some gardening at the new place. I busted the shovel handle, which I pre previously put on. It was probably a rotten handle that I put on there. And I needed a new one. So on the way drive back from the dog park, I took an alternate route because I saw a sign yesterday that said the garage sale down the road. And that was the first one I stopped at. And then I stopped at another one on the way home and then another one. So I hit the trifecta. And the Lord has blessed me with a truckload of garage sale bargoons. And it doesn't get any better than that. It seems like the more you work and, and, and volunteer for the Lord and, and you know, donate your time and talents and money, it seems like you get blessings back in more ways than you can imagine. Second garage sale, traction soles, 50 cents. Pizza pan, a quarter, stainless. The last garage sale, those of you that mix your own plaster up know what that's for. And I got these heavy duty hooks. I don't know if these are steel or not. I gotta get my magnet. Yeah, these, that one's steel. Yeah, they're both steel. So those are, that's the magnet I use at the junkyard. So this, this tray of goodies was, and the tray itself was two bucks. A whole tub of electrical parts and a tops basket. I'm going to have to pressure wash that and take that back to the store so the cops don't bust me for stealing store property. A scraper, like new condition, a buck. Got to get blades for it. This is at the second sale, Stanley Thermoses. These things are built like tanks. They'll outlast your lifetime. I used one of these on the third shift where I developed a coffee drinking habit at Westinghouse Electric, working in the motor factory. That's, that's the result. The second sale, a sheet of plasterboard, five bucks. The plastic fiberglass, I think this is a kid's bow. A string attached, two bucks. This was from the second sale. This is like bed rail size angle iron. You people that like to fabricate your own stuff out of metal, I couldn't pass that up 50 cents for the both of those. For the both of these. And another bargain hunter, Shovel Head 8. We got a shovel. And I think I just got a sliver from the old handle. But this one's solid, and somebody. Somebody put this handle on sometime in the past because they don't come with bolts in them. So there's a need and how, how did my Lord know that I needed that? This was at the, the second sale. That was by the curb in a pile mark free. 
one of my friends raises plants and sells it, so that can go to his place. At the, the second sale, flashing roof cement, 50 cents a tube. The box says 2019. How classy is this? Hello, hello, hello. Stainless steel foot operated garbage bucket. Oh, somebody left me a toothpick. Looks like it hasn't been used. Yeah, it's in a garbage can. It probably was used. I'm not that cheap of a bastard. I know you're thinking. I know you're thinking that. Shame on you, YouTubers. Shame on you. Valvoline. This came from the second sale, and this was out by the curb and the free, the free pile. I did buy stuff at this sale, and I did have some reservations because after I got into it and started haggling on some stuff, I found out the couple was splitting up and had to get rid of some of this stuff. Dextron. Transmission fluid. Brand new, never opened. Handyman magazine, that's me. And I, a fiberglass tray, that's good to put plants on. When you're a hoarder, you have you have uses for everything. I have several of these, but for a quarter, I'm on the level. Sweet, sweet baby Jesus, thank you. The sign says, take it all, two bucks. And that's what I did. I don't even know what's in this thing. The stuff on top looked good and well worth the two dollars, so I bought the whole shebang. Coat hook. I can make a pipe bomb. Hooks. Plum stainless plumbing fittings. Weed whacker string. Yeah, miscellaneous hardware. A whole, a whole bonanza of bargoons. And another two dollar box in an orange crate. When you see signs like this, you know the people want to clear out and get rid of the stuff. What do I do, get, get shit on by a bird? I don't know. Something dropped. A lot of foam insulation in here. Plastic tubing. These are great. You know, you got, you can put these things on any bottle and you got to you can put any kind of fluid or oil in there. Oh, this is insulation for around air conditioning. Okay. Sweet. What the hell's hitting me here? Something's hitting me in the back. I'm getting bombed. I'm getting poked in the back. In the box, Frigidaire 
over the stove top microwave. The lady did point out that it has a dent in the door. Asshole throwing shit at me. Sabotaging my video, you jealous bastard. You're jealous of my YouTube career. Oh, the, door, the door's on the front. Oh, somewhere there's, oh, there's a little dent right there. I gotta zoom in on the dent so you can see it. Yeah, right down there. Frigidaire Galley. $50. I haggled them down to 40 and I felt bad, but they don't need it. I'll, I'll take advantage of it. I'm getting, I'm getting tomato bombed. Tomato bombed by a hole. You better run, you bastard! Alright, YouTubers, we're out. Everybody's got film critics.